what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys some cool shadow effects or shadow tricks that i use to present designs to clients right so let's get right into the tutorial okay so i want to start by giving my background a white color first i can delete this text i don't need a text and i give my background a white color or any color that you guys can see the shadow effect when I'm putting them on it. All right, and I'll be using one design. I'll select one design from my phone and we'll apply this effect. And so let me go to my gallery real quick and get a design that we're going to use. <coughs> All right, so we're going to be using this design for my free training to apply this effect. All right, so this is what we're going to be using. All right, so first, shadow effect, actually, when you bring in an element, you can apply shadow tricks to it from the Pixel Lab shadow button. Outer and inner shadow. All right, so let's start with the Pixel Lab shadow button, the outer shadow. So when you activate this, you can decide your shadow color. You can blur the, the shadow, the radius, and you can choose any color to be your shadow. All right, and then this is the one I'm going to be using. This is a black color that I've made a little bit transparent, like here. You can come here and you reduce it. Make your color, your black color transparent, like that. All right, so this is the one I'm going to be using. This one. All right, so there you go. So the first shadow effect. I will blur the radius and then can use this to make a cool shadow effect, something like this. And you can download it and present it to your client. Like that. This is a cool shadow effect that you can use to present a design to your client as well. Now the next one is, so I'm going to turn this one off. The next one is inner shadow. Inner shadow really isn't good for presenting work anyway. So let me turn off outer shadow and show you how inner shadow is all about. Inner shadow is not cool at all. I don't, a lot of people don't even use it because it causes the effect is on the design. It's not out of it. So a lot of people don't even use inner shadow. All right, so my third shadow trick, the one that I use is going to be with shapes. Okay, so we're not going to be using any of the pixel app button. So we're going to be using shapes and do some tricks. So first, let's start by importing a square like this. So we have a square. Next thing we want to do is go to opacity, reduce it all completely. Remember, this is turned off, so the opacity doesn't affect our shadow. Next thing is I go to shadow. And I'm working on the shape, not the design I turn it on then we'll have the black color for a shadow and then I'll choose my shadow color so what I'm going to be using is this one I've created this is what I'm going to be using and then I'll blur the radius completely okay now I'm going to go to the max tool and activate it and I'm going to have something like this and I'll click on OK so this is a pretty cool trick that you can use to present shadow it's going to make your design look like it's standing so you put the shadow on the design like this and then you send it to the back send it to the back so your design kind of looks like it's standing with this shadow trick. It's a pretty cool trick you can use. Okay, so you make sure you try to correct, uh, balance your design and your shadow properly. Something like that. Then you can adjust it by moving it up or down. All right, so this is a cool trick. You can use this trick to present shadow, to present your design. It's a cool shadow trick. And the last but not the least trick that I'm about to show you guys, it's going to be with shape as well, but it's going to be a circle this time. So we're going to take a circle 
import it, reduce the opacity completely. Go to shadows, you know, shadow, sorry, select my shadow. And I'm going to go to 3D rotate. And I will rotate along the X axis. Oh, I did not blur the radius for that shadow. So let's get back to shadow and blur the radius completely, okay? So I'm going to go to 3D rotate and rotate along the X axis like that. So this is the trick that I want to do now. I'm going to reduce the size of this. And now I can present this design like it's hanging in the air like this with this shadow trick. It's actually a cool shadow trick that people use as well. You can give your design something like that. And you can use this to also present to your clients. You can give it a cool background. So I'm basically, I'm just showing the tricks, shadow tricks. I'm not doing a lot of background editing here. All right, guys. So these are the four shadow tricks that you can use. But the inner shadow is really, really, a lot of people don't use it. And I don't recommend you ever use it to present your design to, for, uh, to your clients. So thanks for watching, guys. And see you in my next video. Peace.